Welcome to Graham Games, my name is Graham, this is a game, today I'm playing Castle of Alchemists. A action tower defense hybrid that released, I believe, yesterday based on the timing of this video, so you can go pick it up for yourself right now if this is of interest to you. You can think of it, I think the closest comparison is going to be like 2D Orcs Must Die. Uh, you have a series of traps and things as tower defense style enemies move through lanes, but not when it's 3D and you're a hero fighting back. I think it's the same idea. Castle of Alchemists, a safe haven for scholars, engineers, philosophers, and people of science shunned by their society. Nigh impenetrable, it protects its inhabitants from outside forces, but this attack came from within. Unknown invaders swarmed from portals within the castle before we could act, triggering the castle's defensive mechanism and trapping us all together. As Ligio Ferrata, Army of the Castle, we responded swiftly. However, I hate when things auto-progress like that and you don't get a chance. Locate and retrieve our most valuable asset, Bellator de Alchemia, first of its kind, an alchemically enhanced soldier of the Legion. He looks beefy. His mutation cycle is not yet complete. However, we have no choice but to awaken him, for he is our only hope to retake the castle. So he, he's like Bane, medieval Bane, being charged with fighting the castle, and I'm all for that. That sounds sick. Suiting up. Okay, yeah. The, the, the art in this game is phenomenal. That was like honestly one of the major appeals of playing this game. I don't like the opening text auto-scrolling its way past me, so I didn't actually get to see anything. I'm anti that. I like seeing, uh, like, the way my health and whatever, mana, whatever it was, like, uh, both refilled like that together. Oh, that's cool. To use, like, a ghost of your character to, like, be able to show how it's going to look when you, when you execute it properly. How the hell? Okay, I did, I did it correctly... A few times, then not, <laughs> not every time after. Okay, so stamina. Uh, that some uh, some sort of battle battle roar there. He has like a hook shot or something, which is quite cool. Uh, Q is just like a big attack. I'm guessing um, the first one I used has more to do with damage damage dealt. Like that I, I, would, I would be in a fury mode for a minute or something like that. Right click does nothing. Oh, because I need to switch to the hammer. So I, I have a, a big swing. Oh my god, the gun and hammer are one and the same. Nope, that might not be true. <laughs> but when I when I did a, a swing there, yeah, you can like you can reload it. And then you do that big blast. So regular attacks. What does it show? Yeah. Oh, so I, I must have spent it. Whatever resource I had there to be spent, I did it. I already spent it all. Whoops. I think that I think that's how that works. Uh, so one and two. One and two. Throw, throw a bomb, which I, I need a cooldown now, and plan to trap. Okay. It's, it's some pretty basic stuff there. I, I, I'm sure I could keep demoing it for a while. But I feel ready. Get me in there, coach. Put me into the shit. Commander, we need to defend this position to secure our retreat to base. No more than 15 enemies should pass this position. These are the available resources. Resources replenish each wave depending on your success. These are the defensive structures you can build. You can enter cell mode by holding down the left shift key. The tutorial was so small and efficient and bam, 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 here's how you do it. And now we have a second tutorial that's a little bit more involved and uh, detailed. And it seems fine, but it's, it's kind of jarring to have a second tutorial. You can construct powerful towers in elevated positions like this by clicking on the tower button on the statue. You can check the types of enemies that will come in the info panel as well as their route on the minimap. Oh, that's handy. Click here when you are ready to start the next wave. Good luck, Commander. Oh, so it's going to show me. We have Arctic Swordsman, a footman wielding a two-handed sword. They're weak to fire, resistant to ice. 
Uh, there's kind of this upper path here that it doesn't seem like they're going to bother with. Certain enemies must have that grapple jump thing, like the same way I do, presumably. Uh, I don't know where I am. I assumed I was hanging out back. Maybe that's me in the tank there. So if I hit next wave to start things, oh, I need to build a tower to start the next wave. If you need resources, it'll it'll let me know. So the ballista tower suits, shoots a siege bolt at the enemy location, reloads every five shots. So that should all be ready. I, I believe it's highlighting the N for the hotkey. Yeah, that's handy. Need to spend at least 250. Oh, I thought that I would only be able to place these when I was running around live. So barricade, simple reinforced. Oh, these are different. That's why it's showing it to me differently. There's like base defense setup and then the action portion of it. So it makes sense tutorializing that separately. Uh, direct enemy forces. If the enemy's entire path is blocked, they will attack the barricade. Well, I don't want that. I do want them to just kind of stay in a tight, narrow path. Heavy damage when it hits. Conducts electricity. How often? Uh, they, they appear to, like, auto-run through that portion. Through the middle there. I don't want him to sneak around. Like, is that an effective funnel? Obviously not all of them will get hit by that, but that might be enough. That's a lot spent. Hopefully that's, like, enough. Yeah, we've jumped out of our tank. We're ready. We're a part of it now. So dash around can do our jump there i might as well get like right up into things and start start trying to knock down this wave as much as i can before having to rely on the traps that seems like uh that'll go a long ways the ballista really actually shot them really aggressively didn't it? didn't it that was kind of sick bam okay i wanted to have the the big one the big attack on there getting like combos loaded up Sick. Okay. Combo attacks. Stand in my ground here. Things have been quite weakened, and so I, I feel protected. Ah, no, they got past me. Oh, because I used up all my stamina. Okay. Big attack. Shotgun blast. Shit. I got a little a little close to some of those there. Okay. Okay. Uh, it went well, but it was kind of dicier than I thought it would be. So damage uh, from traps, from the tower, and from myself. So I did the most. Flawless victory, didn't let anyone through. That's good news. I didn't gain experience, none, maybe a little. Uh, crafting materials, potions, treasure, gold. I guess there will be shops and things to invest in uh, additional traps and like that sort of stuff. Yeah, okay, there's a whole other management side to this. Welcome back, Commander. Our group successfully secured the Iron Legion barracks at the outer outer rim and have established it as a small base of operations. You may find me in the war room, Commander. Let me know when you're prepared and we can choose our next steps. Master Jurian at the Armamentarian Armamentarian like armaments, armamentarium would like to speak with you, Commander. I'd recommend that you go see what he needs. Hello, Commander. Glad to see you in one piece. I'm Master Jurian, headmaster responsible for your mutation cycle. We dedicated this chamber to your personalized needs for mutations, combat, training, and gears. Okay. Here, you can review the details and select your mutations or combat training. Oh my god, there's a lot. There's gear and stuff. Loot. I love loot. You can equip combat gear from here. There is a limit on how much weight you can carry. You can check your carrying capacity here. Unfortunately, we currently don't have anyone who can craft experimental gear for you. If we manage to rescue someone with the necessary skills, you'll be able, able to craft your own weapons and gear in this room. So no crafting just yet. Welcome to the war room. I am here to help you plan and prepare for attacks against the enemy. Here, you can choose a level to begin a mission and view relevant information about it. For the moment, our access is limited to the entrance of the castle from the outer rims. As we advance, new areas will become available. Here, you can review your trap and equipment loadout for the mission. However, as we currently do not have anyone to operate the workshop or craft items, our options are limited. Our primary objective is to rescue the trapsmith master, Ozlunin, as her expertise will allow us to construct more advanced defensive measures. 
So, I don't have anything to do with all those other stops, I don't think. The Frozen Corner. A small corner passage leading deeper into the castle. There'll be the uh, icy foot soldiers and some form of trap, I'm guessing. Challenges. Up close. Deal 10,000 damage with the melee weapon. Deal 10,000 with a ranged weapon. Finish the level with four equipped vials. And kill 25 invaders with electric. I actually don't think I have electricity to deal or, or anything like that. Explosive flask? Um, I, vials are... I, I don't even know. The mechanical trap... Uh, booby trap? Oh yeah, I wasn't even using either of those. Leaves shrapnel, so neither of those are electric. Jingle blast, that's my regular gun. Healing syringe. Yeah, okay, that, that makes sense. Healing if I needed it. Oh, yeah, that's his raw. That's what that was. The blast hammer, a powerful hammer with a mechanical core inside the headpiece. When activated, it enhances the next attack with an explosion. And then a powerful ranged weapon at close ranges. D uh, d power drops as the distance grows. Requires reloading after each shot. So, I there's nothing I can actually change or anything here. None of those are... Uh, Electric. I just don't know anything about vials. I don't like grenade grenadier. It makes me think it just means have flasks. The, the bombs or flasks or grenades or vials. Like I don't know. I'm I'm just gonna try to not use grenades. I guess is gonna be my my solution there. Ah, so now we're going on the offense. Like right now we're suddenly in their territory. Like that's how I read this as the Arctic Raider. He has a shield, and he's going to run at moderate speed. That wigged me out for a second. I was like, oh, God, they're coming. Uh, so he has a sword. This guy, he's, he's a runner. They aren't going to go that way. I don't think there's any reason to. I don't think there's any towers to be built. Uh, I might as well just try and deal damage instantly. Like, if I have to force them through that... I don't know if there's like an invincibility period. There might be. So I, I think I'm going to just try and lay all that out early and have them take as much damage as possible uh, in the early bit. And then I kind of have like a little bit of a secondary protection there. And it made it look like they would bank around the side a little bit, which is interesting. Is that like consistent? Is that... Ah, uh, no, not necessarily. Not necessarily. And I'll force him along the side there. There, I've spent everything. So, I just have to hope that that's enough done. I, I might as well plant one of those traps, I think. So, I'm just going to get involved. And uh, try try and deal as much damage with my, my shotgun cannon thing as possible. There's, there's the big attack. Uh, try and keep this combo going. Uh, the thing that I most wanted is to the 10,000 damage dealt with one weapon. I didn't think I would be able to do that with two weapons, so I just chose one to commit to. That was my thinking there. And so far, so good. I think that seems like it's working all right. I don't even, I don't even know how that works. Oh, it like rains down bullets on them. Okay, okay. Pretty strong, actually. Ooh, I can kind of bait them into turning around and, and facing me head on like that. See, the, the four flask thing, I think I, like, misinterpreted. I don't understand that. Uh, oh, maybe I can kind of hang them up so they chill on top of the spikes and take additional damage because of that. I, I threw a grenade. I just went for it. These guys got shields. They were kind of pushing forward on me a little bit. I didn't like it. I got scared. <laughs> plant that trap right on top of the spikes. Yeah, so then they, they kind of have to walk through a double attack there. Ooh, I think I only get to use my uh, thing that I used, my big heavy attack with this weapon. I think I only get to use it once. Alright. Basically, if you just keep it up, and you're alright. That's the first wave. The dread level... It goes up to three. I seem fine. Deathless, 10% more resources were awarded if you managed to survive the wave without failing. 
the Adamant Defense. 10% more resources were awarded if you did not allow enemies to pass. And Flawless Flow uh, awarded if you do did not allow any enemies to pass and did not die. Oh, so it's like multiplicative. I These by themselves are bonuses. The two together, then you get even more. Combo points. Uh, maximum Dread is a thousand. Do, do I want Dread level? As you achieve higher combo scores and times, your Dread level increases. Each level of Dread increases the amount of resources you receive by 10%. So, uh, if I could have chained together additional comboing, then I, I would have got more for it. Oh, okay, okay. It's still, it's still going. Um, regular. <laughs> ah, there's another kind. The Javelineer. Skilled in throwing javelins from a distance. He's, is, is anyone going to like run up to there or anything? It doesn't seem like that's a concern currently. Let's keep you guys like filtered towards the middle there. I don't even think I need to stop you. That really, then they can't, they, they're forced to bunch up a lot, which is, I think, what I want right now. I want them to not really have a clear path through. And the more they have to crowd up, the more I can funnel them and just fire off as many attacks as possible. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's pull the, the trigger on the next wave there. Let me just get into position as quickly as possible. Uh, first wave, I don't... I'm going to try to not use, like, skills. I'm going to let that build up. I wish I could have known how much damage I had dealt with this beforehand. So that I could, uh... Oh, shit. Uh, which skill do I want there? Yeah, yeah, that's the one I, I'm looking for. Okay. Okay, let's get back back to the front lines again. Jesus. <laughs> Maybe, maybe I gotta be using skills more readily. Uh, my grenades. Alright, let's start using grenades. That didn't seem like it did much of anything. I'm not happy with how that went. Oh, shit. Okay, maybe, maybe I'm not using enough of, of what's available to me. That was a little dicey. So many of them have armor. Uh, shields, especially. I honestly, it doesn't even seem like the, the grenades are that strong. I'll just keep using them. So, I'm not good enough at this. I don't have enough skills and things available to me to be able to worry about uh, having such precise things. Oh, God. Okay, uh, two. Two, two, two. I, that's not where I wanted to use that at all, obviously. That was brutal. Uh, I, I tried. I was trying to heal and shit. I was trying to use my healing. Is that is that what I did do? Oh, God. Uh, hurry up, man. Space? Oh god, did I had to wait to... What the fuck? I don't really understand how that worked at all. So I gotta wait that out. Oh, so I, I never did use the healing, I don't think. I gotta wait to get bandaged up to get redeployed. Wow, so many made it through. Retry. I don't know if I retreat, actually, if it would have given me things and I could go work on a better loadout, what have you. Hmm... What could I be doing to really like do I do I want things to be more spaced out? Oh, I already regret those decisions. I think that was a stupid way to do it. I think you're better off pinching things. Well, I've already done it. I don't have, I don't have a lot of faith in this. Getting teleported to the infirmary or whatever, I understand now. I, I get I get why that happened. Um, but it's just existing in an intense mode of panic. Yeah, the spikes only spring up every so often. They're actually not very frequent whatsoever, so it's hard to know, like, how I could be making the most use out of that. Oh, damn it, I got, I'm getting hung up on my own traps there and, and taking damage because of it. 
Yeah, the, the spike traps are not that strong. I thought they were spiking people every single time they stepped on it. It's nowhere near that effective. Oh god, they're, they're ra I, I, I gotta be uh, ready to, to dodge more when they do that to me. I figured if I laid that trap instantly, even when I don't really need it, then I can start resetting the cooldown. Uh, for the same reason, I'm gonna drop drop a bomb on those guys. That was an accident. That was entirely a misclick, but honestly, it uh, seems to have been quite beneficial. That was the wrong button pressed. Didn't mean to use my healing. Uh, the, the buttons you need to make use of are just kind of clustered on the con uh, keyboard. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I'm just new to it and therefore making some early mistakes. Being more ready to use my, my, like, active traps. Oh, but that was still only the first. That, that went well both times. I was really close to a higher dread level. My comboing was better. I think because I was up in their faces a lot more. I was really trying to, like, push that. Well, for one, I just want to make sure that little filter is there. Let's let's create a pinch point for two. Mm, how do I wanna how do I wanna force everything to flow? Let's let's do that one there and one up through the middle. And one more. Two more. <laughs> I figure I might as well just commit. Commit to trapping things. We'll see. I don't know how efficient that was. It seems like it wasn't. If I were to really criticize myself, that doesn't seem efficient at all. Come and get it, you icy suckers. Popsicles. How about that? How about a bomb? <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, bomb, ice. Can't stop me. Okay, okay. I can defend this first group, but then I gotta rush. I gotta rush back forward. There we go. Okay, okay. Back. I'm with it. I'm with it. Uh, bomb right up front here. Shit, shit. Uh, big shot just to try and deal with that as it's coming in. Damn it. Damn it all. Damn you. Damn you. Okay, heal up for sure, because that was getting dicey. Oh, I can jump over my own blocks, boxes that I laid out. I don't care. I'm, I'm using, I'm using things while I have them. Throwing the bombs out. Okay, as long as I, like, get in there for the point blank, I'm much better off. And these guys don't have the, the long reach with the sword, so I think they're generally just less of a concern. Come on. I think my grenade landed in like the exact position where it didn't do anything. I thought for sure that was the last wave, the last part of this wave. Does it say anywhere on screen how far into this I am? I, it like doesn't even. Uh, I don't want to die. Dying, well honestly I think it's okay if I die. I just can't allow uh, 25 of them through, that's my main thing. Threw a bomb back there. Oh, I can bait them. Three got through. That's not bad. That's not bad. That got dicey right at the end there. So, total physical kills. Total damage dealt by me. 30,000. I could have switched weapons. I could have done that whole thing with both. Uh, but there's no way. There's no way to track it to know when to switch. So, I didn't know what to do there. I, maybe I only have four grenades, and I used four. I, I don't have any electric, obviously. Master Trapsmith Zulanen has been rescued. Again, it auto-progressed, so I don't actually get to read that. That's like, why even show it to me then? The workshop is now operational with the help of Zulanen. She would like to speak with you regarding the creation of advanced traps for use on the field. Also, we started to record your performance. You can check your accolades from here. Show me what you got in mind. I'm so glad you arrived in time to save me, Commander. I'm also surprised to see you alive as well, to be honest. Yes, I didn't uh, do many things to protect myself, that's for sure. And from here, uh, as I operate the workshop, I will keep any traps we have operational. 
As you clear more areas, we can find more resources and plan to make new traps. Here you can choose which traps to add to your current loadout. We only can only carry eight traps at a time because of our limited movement in the castle. Most traps have a variant version. You can choose which version to use here. Some variants have basic upgrades while others change the trap completely. I have, I have, I'll have eight traps. That's like a lot. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm gonna go in with the scavenge team to gather supplies and plans after you clear areas. We just need to finish missions to unlock new traps. Well, let me mess around with things first. Simple reinforcement crate, the spike trap, and the ceiling dart trap. Oh, so that's what it was telling me that I would have unlocked this? Is that what it was making me aware of there? Slows down enemies in the affected area for a certain period of time. Damage per second, 150. Cooldown, 20. So you could slow them down, then force them to go through a trap, probably. Let me inspect uh, the war room. Skill loadouts can't be changed. The armamentarium. I want to see what new things are available, potentially. Improved vision. I, I do have one skill point. So I can spend that on either side. Increased crit chance. Total stamina. Weight capacity. Kill three enemies in three seconds to gain HP back. Oh, that's cool. Those are the starting versions of them, maybe. And then the level five mutation is once I've leveled up enough. Dodge chance. Increased... Uh, the total hit points increased, and resistance to interruption is increased. I like the healing thing, so I could. I could invest in that. Reduce the cooldown of vials by 5%. Clockwork training increased the duration of clockworks by 5. Turret training, uh, booby training, al <laughs> alchemical training, mechanical, ranged weapon, and melee weapon. So, um, these are all traps and weapons. These are much more directly me. I like the healing yourself one. So I've invested one in that. You can see that there now. Armory. I don't expect that I've found anything. The blast hammer. Bullets. Da, da, da. I don't think I've found anything. So I think all I can do now is plan to take on the next area the lava passage you i could redo you can redo an area because you could try and cross off other things i could commit really hard to melee i you know if when i have electric traps i can come back to it and do that so this the lava passage passage to the metal works and engineering i'm looking forward to seeing the differences in environments this one looks like it'll reward a melee weapon, a ranged weapon, and then a type of trap, potentially, like a poison puddle or something. Maybe it would be closer to um, a modifier that I could apply to an existing trap that I have, some something along those lines. The big heavy closing gates reminds me of Warcraft 3 in like the best possible way. So, there's a gap to jump. What are the odds you guys are going to start using the gap? Oriental Warrior. A fast-running footman equipped with two sickles as weapons. He has no weaknesses. And the Slinger, fast-running, who attacks from a distance. Not excited about that. It, it still shows the icy footman. I guess it, like, always just shows them. Okay. So, I think... Immediately, one thing that I am going to want to have here is a slowdown. And now I need to really start thinking about, like, tower defense logic. If I stick it on the corner, which it won't let me do. Is, is there anywhere? Oh, because there's already a thing on the roof there. That's... It's taken away my, my spot? Is that why? Because there's a thing on the roof there and it doesn't care. That corner bit. Such a particular spot it won't let me use. I guess it's inefficient. There's that part of it. 
Um, there. I think that's the most slowdowns. I want you to be made slow and to, like, forcibly go through there. I do want that to be kind of uh, filtered through as well. Let me do the same thing on this side. Slow movement. Can I build this on the stairs? I can't. That's, that could affect some things. I can build this on the stairs, so I think that's a better placement. It'll slow them down, but I spent everything, so shit, that's all there is to that. <laughs> yeah, it's stressful to have to run to to meet everything when it all starts. Okay, I'm sticking ranged, because now they have ranged things that they're going to use against me, and that, that worries me a little bit, so I'm sticking with that, for the time being at least. I figured I would just toss a grenade in there, it was not super effective. Oh, I didn't look at what the special, like, conditions were. Things that I should be trying to do. I don't know if that was available in the war room or if it'll show me after this wave. Oh, that those things do attack. It's not just about slowing down. Why did I read it as exclusively being slowing down? Maybe that is how it was worded. I think we got a good combo going here, so I feel good about that. Okay, back around. This might be an, uh, an entirely separate... Round of guys arriving. Wave might be the incorrect way to refer to them. So I wasn't able to chain together one combo. I bet if I kind of pushed forward and forced my way through that first group, then that would work. Oh god, the, the, the slingers, the slingers are starting to get involved. So I now I need to heal. Oh god, they're actively attacking me while I'm trying to fumble around for the healing button. Shit. <laughs> using a big attack. I'm very injured. Much more than I'm comfortable with. Oh my god, I did the max dread level? Uh, what? That just means I get more resources, right? That's like the, the benefit of that, that I want that. That's a, a good thing, correct? Spawn small explosions in an area. So I, I wanted to make sure I had sp spikes here and here. They're more or less going to walk on there. Um, I might as well spend some of these first, I think. They're, they're probably going to most often cut that corner, I think. But I can try and filter them here. And there. Can't quite afford another one. Uh, let's... I might as well spend, like, as much as I can. Alright, I'm calling that ready. I don't have a lot of faith, though. That's, uh, it's tricky. I, I wanted to take that as a shortcut. I thought it would feel kind of cool to do. <laughs> that's mostly what that's mostly what was motivating me is feeling cool. So I think you could you could use those paths to run back around and circle behind the enemies to keep a combo going if you felt like your traps were strong enough to take over for you at a certain point. But I don't have that confidence. I tried, I tried to back up a little there and get further away to let, um, to not get attacked while I was setting up the trap. That was my main concern there. All right, getting back forward. Push ahead, push ahead. Get a bomb right in the middle of them. These guys don't have a ton of health. Oh, but you can see the slings coming, so you can try and, like, very actively dodge that. Uh, it's hard to, hard to pay complete attention to continuously, but it has its purpose. It's quite useful. Grenade to the face. <laughs> okay. When, once things start getting dicey around the corner here, then I'll use my big attack. Only when I feel I need it, though. That might not have been the best grenade use. I do want to heal a little... Pushing up pretty good against my traps. Oh, damn it. I'm 
waiting for them to be clustered enough, but I say damn it, I, I might get away with not using that big heavy attack. Which honestly I think means my trap placement went pretty, pretty good. Pretty well? I don't know. <laughs> three, three lit skulls. And the blunderbuss, the blast hammer, and the sprinkler trap. So those are all things that I get, correct? The Apprentice Gilbert has beer rescued. <laughs> I can now get beer? Get a little sloppy, loosen up a little bit. Gilbert has begun working at the Armamentarium, Commander. He requests a meeting with you to discuss his progress. Greetings, Commander. I am grateful for your rescue. I will be responsible for crafting experimental warfare that will aid you on the battlefield. Oh my gosh, okay. Here you can choose which schematic to use for a base, as a base for crafting. Each schematic can produce various versions of the same item with different abilities. From here you can select the materials to use for crafting. Choosing higher quality materials increases the chances of a higher tier item. You can scavenge these resources on your missions, and I think you can dismantle existing items. When you're ready, you can craft an item from here. If you don't like the item, you can recycle it for half the materials back. If you keep the item, it will go in your inventory. There's an inventory limit, uh, and that's, uh, that's another thing to just keep in mind. Dismantle unwanted items by dropping them here. You will recover half of your resources. Yep, that was the thing I had in mind. I highly suggest crafting a new blast hammer, Commander. Any item we create will surely be better than the equipment you currently have. So, blast hammer. Using, I have metals and alloys, solvents, and precious minerals. Can I choose to use, oh no, no. Um, so you have to use, you have to use basic materials. Then the more of these you add on, the higher the likelihood. So I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to force, basically force, a tier 2 weapon at minimum, if not uh, better. So it's not, it's not going to tell me those details yet. Crafted level 2. So I managed to get uh, increased core damage, stamina reduction, and in uh, better crushing blow. So I will keep that. Mutate, I leveled up, I would have another skill point to spend. Let's just go with higher total hit points. In the armory now, I have my Blast Hammer 2 that I will upgrade. And I will recycle my basic one. I got basic components for it. I could also do the Blunderbuss. Oh, it'll cost two. I have 18. Okay, so I, I have more to work with here than I expected. A level four, four blunderbuss. Apply slow, explosive rounds, blind chance, blind with an E, uh, and a chance to mark. I was going to stop. I was going to stop playing right there. But now, that just sounds cool, man. <laughs> I want to take that out. I, I, I imagine you can swap some of this stuff out too through finding better gear let's do it let's do the next level the lecture room i uh, i would learn uh some sort of bomb schematic so i can make bombs and either earn poison spikes or learn how to make them or whatever small lecture hall for new appro apprentices here they are nothing personal deal twenty-five thousand with traps kill 50 invaders with fire deal 7500 with turrets and acid baths. Well, I don't have very high damage dealing traps. I don't have fire. I don't have acid. Maybe this level will have a turret, but I'm not even guaranteed that. <laughs> I figure I just give this game uh, one more level in my like first impressions look at things. Are they just going to loop around? Then what's up with these side rooms? Can I go in there and like do things? Swordsman, Raider, Javelinier, that has not changed. Try to get the most out of this again. Well, they're not really going to, they don't really run into the corner. So I think I get the most out of it somewhere like there. And again, they're, they'll probably cut that corner a little bit, so something like that. I could also just plop it right in the middle here and, and yeah, I think I will do that. Why not? <laughs> Uh, then, 
let's go heavy on the spike traps. One last around the corner there for good measure. I didn't I didn't put up any barricades or anything to funnel, so maybe that was a mistake. We'll see, we'll see. Shan Shantui. Okay, I have my blunderbuss. Uh specialty blunderbuss. I did kind of want to change it up and, and try the melee weapon. But now that this thing has like explosive attacks and stuff, maybe that counts as fire damage. I I do just kind of want to put that to the test. Oh, that's not what I meant to use. I used my healing thing. I meant to place that trap. Shit, that's no good. That grenade was horribly placed. You do aim it. It doesn't just shoot randomly. Uh, uh, I can't. I, okay, I wanted to, I wanted to poke around and see if I could inspect that stuff. It didn't seem to matter. Can I also just... Oh, I can just hold the fire button. I've been spam clicking it like a maniac this whole time, and that's apparently not needed. Okay. Push, push back, push back. I want to I want to get in there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that, that's what I was trying to do. I just wanted to have uh, progress. They were starting to win out slowly, you know? There we go. Now I'm back up with them again. The javelins are uh, troublesome. I'm actually quite concerned with how much damage I'm taking from the javelins. That trap placement sucked. <laughs> I deserve to, to miss out due to that. Wait, none of these guys are javelin boys anymore. Do I heal when I get sent back to here? Oh, nearly, nearly. Wave one of three. So this one's going to build. It's going to be notably, I think, more difficult. Let's get another one of these. Early on. Like, instantaneous. Force. Uh, they mostly, mostly those ones, I think, will just go that way. This, I can force them to start narrowing their path. And once they're through there, they're probably liable to, like, stay narrowed like that is my hope one more of those they're just they just are strong and dealing lots of damage with traps was something that I'm like trying to achieve here if I filter them a little bit more there they might not cut that corner and they might stay on the traps that's my aim with that placement okay instant instant placement Try and get that those point blank shots as often as possible. The the traps on the roof are kind of harming my visibility slightly, not a major amount. Oh my god, the like knockback on that is so sick. <laughs> Overall, the art and animation is just unreal, isn't it? Like I I haven't said so since the game first started, but worth readdressing. Like, is this not phenomenal? Don't you want to keep playing just because you want to keep seeing? these enemies just get ruined like this. And I've seen little GIFs and uh, previews and things, trailers of the game, once you start getting acid traps and stuff, like how cool the traps become, we've only, you're only scratching the surface of this early portion of the game here. Like that stuff gets phenomenal and just so detailed. I'm gonna heal a little grenade in the middle of all those guys. There were javelineers there. They aren't doing a lot. As soon as I say it, yeah, yeah, there they are. They're throwing at me again. I would say this is going very well. Uh, I can't tell to what extent my improved gun is making, like, a dramatic improvement in my overall performance. I, am, I imagine it's contributing. Because to suddenly jump from basic starter weapon that kind of has nothing going for it to level 4, that's a, it's quite the jump. <laughs> Oh, I'm very injured. Oh, God, he's still javelin me as well. Uh, God, I keep fumbling the buttons trying to use that skill. No, don't attack me up here. Keep doing your thing. Oh, shit. Well, that didn't go well. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, are you done? I wish there was a timer on screen or something to, to tell me. 
<laughs> oh, you can jump over that wall, which is cool, but one still managed to get through. That was really exciting, though. I didn't realize I would be able to jump over that wall. I thought that was, like, too high or whatever. So, my combo there, not as good. I didn't get Deathless or any of... Ah, I lost, I lost a lot of my comboing. Which means I just lost a lot of what I can spend here at this phase. Kind of too bad. Let's work on f funnel funneling enemies, I think. They probably cut that corner. I don't know. I have no way of knowing if that's a good. It seems like space should be next wave, but whatever. There we go. That's a much faster way to get there, isn't it? I I almost wish the art was a little bit different for the javelineers. Like the the basic soldier looks cool. I can see the sword and I can see the shield really easily. Uh, like, I don't know, the helmet different, the armor different, something. I, I keep failing to pick that one out of these, like, crowds of enemies. I couldn't couldn't even tell you necessarily what the difference maker is of why that feels so hard to, to recognize. That wasn't it. Oh, okay, okay. Just didn't, didn't feel like it. The music was still active and, like, and it would have just been short. It would have been short one. Oh, I still uh, on a cool down there. Okay. I want to save my E and Q, the healing and the big blast, for if I actually need it. Here's where things are going to get start getting hairy. Wait, I, I'm healing. It's a 40% heal, so if you're anywhere below half health, it's worth using. I think. I think that logic is quite sound. Come on, is that it? Was that the last one? Nope, nope, I just charged myself right into it. Oh, yeah, this is going good. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. It's just a lot of white and blue and brown. The the javelinier is actually quite different. He's kind of, like, larger, bulkier. Uh, his armor's a little different, but in the, the chaos, it's just notably hard to pick out for me. But the specific thing I was suggesting, that it be made more clear, that's, like, already been done. Yeah, 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 yeah. I should have been able, I should have been able to defend that, um, second wave, I think, without, without dying, without unnecessary damage. Crossing off, nothing, didn't get any of those. Spike trap with poison, an electric tower, and an explosive flask. I leveled up again. The Master Tower Smith and the Deer has been rescued. We can upgrade towers at the workshop. I don't know if that's going to be every possible rescuable thing. I'm curious. No, it looks like there's space for a couple more things up there still even. He would like to speak with you. He just wants to tell me about upgrading towers. Yeah, it's good to see you awake from your hibernation. And from here, you can unlock tower types, upgrade tower types. You can take three tower types in any mission. More towers are available once we've unlocked them. You can choose variants. You don't have to put towers in your loadout. We'll bring enough resources for each tower. Da, 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 da. This is kind of where I'm putting the game down. So additional details here of how precisely these things function, I'm, I'm less concerned with. They're expensive. That's the trade-offs. They cost a lot. The sprinkler trap, mud. So this is like the poisoned spike trap. That's the, the difference there. I, I think I would... No, no, that's... I'd seen that previously. So here, you select the trap, then you select the variant. It costs four more. Uh, damage and cooldown is the same, but it applies poison and conducts electricity. So you can really start layering things together. I think this game's cool, man. I think there's a lot of cool bits of progression. I like the fact that there's gear. I like that there's incentives to come back to old levels to try and improve, uh, do better, grind out for resources. Grind, but it's satisfying. It's fun. Uh, you could try for the different challenges and things for additional unlocks. Just collect materials to continue crafting materials and finding blueprints and things. 
I think you could put a lot of hours in this game and have plenty, plenty of fun doing so. I'm glad to have given it kind of a, a longer, more extended first look. So there you have it, guys. Castle of Alchemists. It is available for sale over on Steam now. There will be a link at the top of the description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon.